Hi YouTube. Don't judge me. I'm recording this on YouTube. I mean Snapchat because I'm recording it up here because I don't have enough memory on my phone and I don't have time to be real deep into something and then get cut off. Even though I'm gonna have to keep restarting. But anyway, I like this filter. I'm in a good mood. But so as you can tell by the title of the video, although at this current moment I don't know what I'm gonna title it, but I passed my certification exam for me to become a recreational therapist. The official title is Certified Therapeutic Recreation Specialist. That's me. So I'm very excited, very relieved. I guess I can go into detail about leading up to certification a lot. Actually went a lot led up to this certification so i'm really proud of myself for getting it passing the test the first time so yeah but this is the package this is what i got in the mail mctrc is the name and it stands for national council for therapeutic recreation certification i'm gonna go ahead and open it I'm not sure what I'm oh my gosh. This is some official stuff, bruh. I got a pen. Why did I rip it off like that? But I'm a, like, I'm a, I'm a Oh my gosh. I'm a certified. Can you see that? I'm really trying. But that's pretty cool. I got a letter here. Congrats on becoming a CTRS. Although you're now nationally certified, you may still be required to become licensed in the state in which you work. License, okay. So basically, okay. Basically, if I move, I just gotta make sure I'm up to date. There's that. Employ excellence. No problem. Wow. Okay, anyway, a bunch of paperwork, but the certificate. Now, what's funny is I already have one, but not this official one. My dad printed it out and laminated it. I thought it was pretty funny that he took the time to laminate it and print it out for me. It was really, it was cute. Yeah, this really is full circle for me. Ow. <laughs> because, but yeah, this is pretty full circle for me. Um, I finished my internship in August of 2019. I walked, um, Technically, that's when I graduated college, but I walked across the stage in May because I was done with everything. I decided to do my internship. But since February, my grandma had been in a nursing facility, basically. And she had a disease. <laughs> this is kind of like a tangent, but it ties into why this is full circle. So just bear Um just bear with me because it does tie into this why it's surreal basically but yeah she had a disease called pulmonary fibro pulmonary fibrosis and essentially it just scarred your lungs and it took your breath away and without breath comes lack of oxygen to the brain and other organs so it just Really, it kills your whole body, but it definitely is a, it's a lung disease. And so, long story short, because I don't feel like being emotional, I um, was very close with my grandma. And it was just difficult to focus. It was difficult to focus on 
honestly been caring about the certification at that time. I knew what kept me studying was her. I knew, I knew she wanted me to be successful. And I didn't want to let her down. So honestly, at the time, it didn't feel like I was even focusing. I just honestly, the power of prayer is so real. Like I just prayed every time before I studied that I would retain something or whatever I kept having to reread was going to be the main focus of the exam because I really, I really couldn't focus. So I feel like I could have a bigger point to say. It's kind of hard to talk about because she passed in December, it's January. So I have my moments. I don't really like crying or emotions, so I'm not really sure if I'm handling it or not. It's kind of like I have a spokesperson and then I'm well aware there's another version of me. I'm like well aware there's another version of me that is hurt. But, you know, sometimes it's hard to even stay hurt because sadness happens around, every, like happens every day to different people. And so sometimes I feel selfish. I'm like, somebody just lost somebody today and I'm so sad about. But I know that's, I know that sounds silly, but that's just how I operate. But anyway, this video is not about that, but I'm just basically, I guess, wanting to say, like, no matter what you're going through, keep pushing, keep moving forward. Because life's going to keep moving and it's not going to wait for you. And I think I kept that in my mind to some degree so i think besides prayer and just tell i kept telling myself i will pass i will pass i will pass because what you speak is what you get and i knew for sure if i didn't pass the test the first time i don't think i would have struggled to pass it another time If you heard that, that's my little brother. But I really just willy nilly started recording this because I just left helping my aunt, who's like not able to do stuff for herself. Love you, Aunt Nettie. Um, I love hanging with her, but that was not the point. <laughs> but I saw this mail on, I saw it, and I haven't had an envelope for me this big since since like I got into college. So I was like, did my dad apply to a master's program for me that I am totally not ready to be in? No, I just got my certificate, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry if I, if I seem scatterbrained, cause I kinda am. Like, what I've said up to this point is definitely a, like a rough copy of how I really feel. I just, I really, when I say don't like emotions, I really don't. So talking about it any deeper, I can't do that right now. And I didn't prepare. Like, I honestly was going to finish watching the rest of the Grammys because I recorded it. But anyway, I hope that people who come across my channels, I guess specifically this video, um, I hope you make a biggest uh, make, whoa. I hope you make I hope you dream big and you don't feel like you can't reach them I hope you don't feel like you can't reach them because I felt that way and it's you can accomplish whatever you tell yourself you're going to accomplish at the end of the day like no matter what and Definitely passing this exam and becoming a therapist is like what I, the work I put in 
to get there. Like, I know for a fact it's prayer and that because I told myself I was going to do it. So no matter what you're going through, um, no matter what you're going through, keep pushing. I keep saying the same stuff. It's like I want to, my brain has a lot more in, in, in it than what I'm saying. This is me every day. But I just want, I always want the best for people and I want the best for myself and just, if you're really feeling like there's no way, I don't know your personal circumstance and maybe it is difficult for you to achieve what you're trying to attain, but it's not impossible. Like just because something is difficult and you may get knocked down a lot, doesn't mean, excuse me, that it's not possible. I proved that to myself and I'm definitely one who second guesses themselves quite often. So it was definitely a refreshing thing to have something I really wanted and told myself I would get actually come to light. So, but that's it. I hope and I pray that for anyone who comes across my video, whether if you even watch this far or if you watch the whole thing, I don't know, if you subscribe or whatever, I genuinely hope that you listening to me reach every milestone or pass every milestone, reach every goal that you have. Believe in yourself. I really want you to do that. I want me to do that. Because sometimes I don't, but... You got to speak what you want into your life to get it. You got to believe what you're saying. You have to believe what you're saying. Thanks for watching. I don't have anything else to say because I'm going to keep rambling and I'm going to say something I don't really want to say. So, If you watch this far, comment, like, subscribe. Give me some ideas because this YouTube thing, honestly, like, I like making videos. But I like be confused on what to do so I don't want to do no cheesy anyway I might edit all that out because that's not what this is about anyway thanks for watching your girl is a certified recreational therapist um that's crazy um I'm a therapist like I'm a therapist yeah thanks again I don't know how to end stuff, so now I'm going to put my hand over the camera like I see the people do, and then you'll see my end screen saying thanks for watching again. Bye.